Do you prefer to call or text them? I prefer to FaceTime. Really? Because I like seeing people. But it's because you're so handsome. <laughs> I know that you like rosé. I love rosé, and it's summertime, and so it's summertime, why not? summertime, so we're gonna cheers, cheers and drink. It's so nice what to meet you. What a great welcome! It's so nice to meet you too. Thanks for having me. Thank you for coming. I can see why you're called Don Adorable. Oh, I <laughs> love you already. We have instant bond here. We're instant friends. We hugged Absolutely. at the very beginning. Absolutely, and my chair is swiveling <laughs> towards you, I know. so it's, it's like I want to get closer. It's intentional. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I am with Raymond Braun. This is Donna Off Air. Three, two, two. one. <laughs> Hey everyone, this is Raymond Braun, ready for another adventure. Cheers. Cheers. Mm, oh, take we're taking a sip already. Mm -hmm. Taking a sip already. It's not kind of dead, take a big you know? one because we're talking about <laughs> trolls, so. We are. There are so many trolls out there. It's about time someone addressed it, honestly. I agree, thank you. It's about time. Yes. You, it's scary though. It is scary, I'm sure. And I want to I want to hear all about your perspective on it because you are co-hosting MTV's spinoff of Catfish, mm -hmm. Catfish Trolls. Yes. Wednesdays, I mean, 10 p.m. on MTV. It's it's a serious topic. Please consider stopping trolling because there are so many other ways you can get attention. There are so many other ways you can make a name for yourself. There are so many other ways that you can impact people and inspire people than that. So the show follows the catfish yeah. model of investigation, but okay. instead of looking at romance and dating, we're looking at trolling. And so people reach out to us who are experiencing cyberbullying, online harassment, uh, trolling, and they want a resolution. They want the opportunity to confront their troll and to hopefully figure out why it's happening and make it stop. Why do people troll? For me, the North Star of the Troll mm -hmm. Show was hurt people hurt people. Mm -hmm. And that actually helped me find compassion and empathy for our trolls mm -hmm. because if you're a happy, well-adjusted, successful, fulfilled, human being who lives a life full of kind of well-being, you're not spending your time online attacking other people. If you are, that means that there's something inside you that's hurting or that you want to be seen, that you want attention and you feel like this is your only avenue to get it. And so knowing that helped me find a little bit of empathy for our trolls mm -hmm. to try to get to the root of what was making them troll and hopefully help them stop. But at its core, I mean, there's all different kinds of motivations, but I think that at the end of the day, you have someone who's not fully happy with their life mm -hmm. and they think that they might feel a little bit happier or better about themselves through trolling. There was one particular instance where, um, I don't normally respond to trolls myself, mm -hmm. but there was a particular instance where someone had taken the time to comment on every single one of my Instagram photo. And there's like more than 500. And so, and it wasn't just like one word, they they wrote a sentence on each oh one. Oh my gosh, I'm exhausted and already. Exactly, I'm like, that <laughs> took some serious time. And they were all about me being gay and they were all really nasty, kind of vindictive comments. And so, I don't know why, but in that moment I just felt like, let me reach out to this mm -hmm. person. And I sent him a DM. It was, well, I actually didn't know the gender at that time because it was like a, I think it was a photo of a dragon or something. Okay. It was one of those private Instagram okay. profiles. And I said... Very anonymous. Very anonymous. I said, I noticed that you commented on literally every single one of my Instagram photos and that all of them were about me being gay and that they were really hateful towards mm -hmm. the community. And I know from my personal experience that sometimes we react most negatively to the things that we don't like in ourselves. And when I was in the closet, I also was terrified of gay people. And I'm ashamed to say that I harbored hate towards the community as well because I was so afraid mm -hmm. of my own identity. Mm -hmm. And so I just want to say that if you, if you identify with any of this, I would love to connect you to some resources. The person doesn't respond for a couple days and then I get a DM back. Turns out it was a kid from the Deep South who had come out and his parents had reacted so negatively wow. and wanted to put him into a conversion therapy program and were so shaming of him that he went back into the closet and started trolling gay people to show his family that he had changed. Wow. And we got him connected to the Trevor Project, which is an incredible resource mm -hmm. for LGBTQ youth or people who are struggling um, and need a little bit of extra support. But that was just, that helped me realize again that a lot of times trolling is a cry out for help. You've made it for yourself so mm -hmm. much and you're very successful. When you were a little kid, did you have dreams to be this kind of entrepreneur and this brand of mm. your own? When I was a kid, I didn't even know that this job could exist. I didn't even know that we could make something for YouTube because YouTube didn't exist. Right. But what I did know from an early age is that I wanted to do something connected to technology because I was that kid. I'm from a really small rural mm. town in Northwest Ohio. I the internet was my window into the world. Mm -hmm. And that was the first time that I actually saw positive representations of LGBTQ people was mm -hmm. through social, like the early days of social media. I'm talking like MySpace and LiveJournal and stuff. MySpace, I'm just stuck on that. Yes. Wasn't there like a, a top eight or something? There was had? a top eight, yes. And there was always drama about like oh who God. was on your top who eight. Who was yours? 
It was, I had a group of, I was um, one of those guys that all my friends were girls, like in grade <laughs> well, school. Well, I wish so I were friends with you. I wish I had a friend like you in grade school. Uh, thank you. I mean, I wasn't how I am now. I think I was a little bit shyer and definitely still figuring out a lot of things, but it was a really sweet group of girls who definitely protected me and shielded me because I got bullied a lot and they would always let me come hang with them and they would tell out the bullies on my behalf and stuff. So well, I love them. Alex, Jennifer, the whole crew from like fourth grade Ohio. Just know that you guys were his MySpace yes. top eight. Yes, That's exactly. You absolutely were. <laughs> All right. Should we play a game, Raymond, of Slub Swipe? I would love to play a game. Yay. Let's do it. Who is your favorite person to follow on social media? Oh Besides my gosh. Yourself, obviously. Cher. <gasps> I love Cher's Twitter so much. Really? It's icon Have you followed her tweets at all? I haven't. Sometimes she'll just tweet, hi. Or, and then two hours later, she'll tweet, hello again. <laughs> um, and it's just very, like, I don't even, she uses <laughs> emojis in a really creative way. She calls us her chickies. Really? Yes. I'm like, you're a philosophical legend, Cher. Do you prefer to call or text them? Depends on the type of conversation. Okay. I think that text is a little bit less invasive, but I would actually amend that and say, I prefer to FaceTime. Really? I like seeing people. But it's because you're so handsome. <laughs> I find, no. no, I find that FaceTime I don't really love because I'm like, honestly, you don't need to see me right now. That is the truth about FaceTime. <laughs> no, I feel like no one likes how they look on FaceTime. Right? It's yeah. like a thing that It's like you to gotta change. find your light. I have a friend, I'm not gonna spill the tea on any names here, but I have a friend who literally uses a ring light when they FaceTime. And that's some next level LA stuff See, right there. That's smart though. <laughs> yes. Raven Braun, thank you so much. It was so nice so to nice meet you. So nice to meet you, Donna. Cheers. Cheers. Love meeting you. You too. We have to hug. Yes. We started with the hug, gotta end with a hug. Perfect. Perfect way to end, start and end with Rose. It's perfect. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Click here to check out more Donna Off Air episodes and click below to subscribe. <laughs>